Coronation Street's Dylan Wilson is about to get set up by Weatherfield bully Mason Radcliffe. There's trouble on the way for Coronation Street's Dylan Wilson as he finds himself facing terrifying consequences at the hands of evil Mason Radcliffe. In recent scenes, fans of the ITV soap watched as Liam Connor came clean about his bullying ordeal at school. Official spoilers reveal that next week, Liam admits to Maria Connor and Gary Windass that Mason once threatened him with a knife. Realizing the extent of Mason's behavior they decide to take action. Although he's terrified, Liam goes to the police station with them both to report the crime. Later on, PC Craig Tinker calls at number 11 after what Liam had just confessed. Speaking to Sean Tully and Eileen Grimshaw, Craig explains they have reason to believe Dylan is hiding a zombie knife which was used in an assault. As the officer says the knife can't be found, Dylan insists he knows nothing about it. Knowing the police are after them, Mason orders Dylan to get the knife and meet up with him later on at the Ginnel. However, as Dylan waits there nervously, things take a turn. As Craig approaches Dylan, he finds the knife they'd been looking for in his bag and arrests him on the spot. Horror sinks in when Dylan realizes that this was Mason's plan all along, to set him up to take the blame. At the station, Dee Dee Bailey joins Sean and Dylan in the interview room. Speaking to a terrified Dylan, she tells him it's time to stand up to the bully once and for all and tell the police everything he knows. Will Dylan finally reveal the extent of all Mason has done? Or is he terrified or what Mason is capable of? Along with his bullying reign of terror, Mason is also responsible for knocking down schoolgirl Eliza Woodrow in a hit and run. As Dylan and Liam both agreed to tell the police they were with Mason at the time of the car accident, it looks as though they could be about to go back on their word. Actor Luca Tulin spoke to this morning's Rochelle Humes and Andy Peters this week to share his thoughts on the bullying storyline. When asked where he believes Mason's actions stem from, the soap star said, I think it has to come from family. My personal belief is no one starts off evil. I think if you track back every single person to when they were a kid, I think everyone is nice. They kind of get molded into this animal he is today because he didn't have an outlet to express his feelings, he's got a horrible upbringing. 